I'm Jim Salisbury with Mitsutoya America Corporation, and welcome to the Metrology Training Lab. In this episode, we want to recognize and appreciate a piece of measuring equipment that rarely gets much glory, but is the foundation for much of the work done in this business, the granite surface plate. The surface plate is simply a big flat rock, designed stiff and massive to not distort, nice and hard to limit wear, and flat so we can use it as the reference and measurement. A typical measurement on a surface plate involves something like this height gauge, where either the part or the gauge moves around on the plate. An example calibration done on a surface plate is the calibration of micrometer standards, shown here, where the standard stands upright on the plate, and we do a comparison method using a gauge block and leverhead electronic detector like this Minitoya Mu Checker. There is an American national standard on granite surface plates called ASME B89.3.7, which replaced an old federal specification called GGG P463C, which was used for decades. Both standards define the same accuracy grades for surface plates. The highest accuracy is grade AA, which is often found in laboratories, grade A, which is common in inspection areas, and grade B, which is more a shop floor grade. We have developed a nice technical bulletin on surface plates that includes some information on tolerances and calibration, so you can find that in our on-demand educational resources section of our website. There are two important flatness specifications for surface plates, and the tolerances are defined by the grade and the size of the plate. This plate here is 30 by 48 inches length and width, and it's grade AA. So based on the size and the grade, the overall flatness tolerance for this plate in accordance to the standard is 180 millionths of an inch. That tolerance applies across the entire surface of the plate and is a maximum separation form tolerance. From the highest peak to the lowest valley, the entire surface must lie between those limits and must be less than that flatness tolerance. Surface plates also have a smaller localized flatness tolerance, which applies over a much smaller area, about the footprints of a height gauge. That location variation in flatness is usually called the repeat reading in practice, which is an old historic term coming from calibration practice. For this plate, with the overall flatness of 180 millionths, the tolerance for the repeat reading is 45 millionths. Now it's critical to get a surface plate calibrated for both the overall flatness and the repeat reading over time. We see in practice that some commercial labs will suggest skipping the check of the overall flatness. So be careful with this. Your surface plate calibration program needs to address both the local and overall flatness of the plate. With regular calibration and occasional relapping, your surface plate should last for decades. Your primary maintenance is mostly to clean it regularly. With such a large horizontal surface, surface plates can collect dust and dirt quite easily. There are a number of different cleaners on the market just for surface plates, but it's a rock. There are lots of options for cleaning. In our calibration lab, we have a clean room so our plates don't get too dirty. But prior to any precision work, we will clean the area with denatured alcohol, which is the cleaner of choice in our lab. Our experience has also shown that a light stoning of the plates will improve repeatability. We like the larger Sarah stone that we sell here at Minnetoya. It worked well for this job. Now we're not trying to change the flatness, just a few passes with the stone to remove any little micro inch contaminants. We like our gauges to almost float across the plate like the puck in air hockey. 
In this episode, we just wanted to give you an introduction to surface plates and some things to consider in the calibration and maintenance of your plates. Most people do not calibrate their own plates, so we're skipping those details. But please let us know if you'd like to see more on the calibration of surface plates, and maybe we can cover that in a future episode. Thank you, I'm Jim Salisbury, and I'll see you next time from the Metrology Training Lab.